Hey guys, Vintage Eager here today. We are, uh, you know, 13 minutes past 7 o'clock. Got caught up in, you know, eating out here on a Friday night. So hopefully our polls will make up for my tardiness. So, um, just going to be casual here, you know, ask any questions. Uh, just, you know, just want it to be fun laid back Friday night here. Don't really know how many people will join in or not join in, but hopefully we can get some pretty epic polls and we are looking for that secret rare titled God card out of this case. So hopefully we can get some pretty epic polls. So we have our case open here and we will get right into it. Probably gonna put it off to the side and pull just a couple boxes out here probably go for definitely as long as we don't pull a god card we'll go for for at least that long and I'd love to pull uh, multiple collector rares so we'll probably end up opening this entire case but we'll we'll pull out eight of the twelve so far so hopefully we can have some pretty epic pulls tonight. All right, so we will get into box number one. So you guys have probably seen at least a couple Kings Core openings so far, so we're not gonna go through any of the commons or the super rares. Um, pretty much we're only gonna barely pause at um, some ultras, collector rares, and of course, if we hit a god card, we will stop and look at it for sure. So, beautiful uh, pack artworks here with the Jacks and the, the new Joker. So, we'll just get right into it, like I said, and rip, off, rip open a full case of King's Court here. The new Secret Pharaohs rare, I would love to see one in person here because um, from what I've seen in other people's videos, it looks pretty bad. So, um, and a lot of people's opinion, opinions are it looks pretty bad as well. So, I'd love to get my hands on one in person and see how it looks. Jackson Knight. So, like I said, I'm going to speed through these packs. Um, what would it be? 24 packs times 12, so 360 packs we're planning on opening here tonight. So don't want to, you know, draw out the video way longer than it needs to be for you guys and for myself. So three supers so far. Now, nope, no luck on the collector first pack. So I have prices up on a different screen. So if we hit any ultras, I'll uh, I'll tell you the current price on TCB player. But probably, um, I would say they'll continue to go down, but you never know on like uh, something, some collector rare or something might. Ooh, so I think this is one of the better ones. So let's see, we have, uh, let's see if I can search for it. Yeah, so this is uh, around $50. Oh, sorry, that is incorrect. Guilty gear. That is collector rare. So page two, probably. So that maybe this is one of the worst ones. Yeah, a, a big difference between sixty dollars and three dollars. So that's funny. But we did get our first ultra, so we will put ultras in a pile, supers in a pile, and then rares in a pile. First pack collector rare, there's no way. Nothing. Hyper Galaxy? No. No uh no uh no collector rare there. Alright, so we are uh four packs in, We've got our first ultra. Um we should pull three or four collectors rares. Uh I wish a I don't think Pot of Duality is a collector rare. I wish kinda wish they would have done that in collector rare. Uh nostalgic card there from Duelist Revolution, new school for me, but uh, old school for a lot of people for sure. 
Um, yeah, like, share, comment, um, anything. I'll try to uh, keep up with the chat here and answer any questions you guys have. Uh, we have 12 boxes to open, so should have plenty of time for questions. Yeah. Um, on TCG Player, the difference between secret um, god cards and ultra god cards right now are like $300. So just pulling a secret god card pretty much pays for the case. So that would be huge to pull one. Hope everyone is having a good Friday. Um, I've heard that the secret and the ultra are about one to one, but it seems like, I mean, these two things get shipped out on pallets. And from what I've heard that like an entire pallet might've been secret rare versus an entire pallet might've been ultra rare. So if I bought, you know, three boxes or three cases, that they might all be the same. So I don't know how much truth there is to that, but um, we will, I guess, I don't know if, if there's enough enough cases open, eventually we might get a um, some data on that. I would assume it would be harder than one-to-one, -one, but I don't, I'm not entirely sure. It is kind of cool that they, you know, like, they had the secret version of GBI, and then they had the ultra version of GBI, so I don't know if they, like, mirror that thought with, like, you know, original Game Boy Advance God cards, or what they did. And just some super shares. So we only hit one ultra. I think they've nerfed it down to three. I think Toon Chaos is three ultras a box. Well, it should get three ultras a box, and then, um, normally collector rares don't replace um, ultra rares or anything like that, so they'll just be an extra bonus in certain boxes. But yeah, um, god cards are um, one a case, so if you want a specific one, you probably have to open about three cases, and if you want a certain rarity, you probably have to open uh, about six cases. Burning Soul, I do know that one. That one is probably one of the worst ones. So this box so far, we are not getting our monies out of, out of. So Lightning Storm, you want to see that. Um, you want to see uh, Reinforcement of the Army, Collector Rare, Lightning Storm, number F0, Utopic, Draco, Future. Um, any Collector Rare is going to be probably $50 or more at this point. Court of Cards. I do love the uh, the Joker and Knight, Jack Knight theme. Um, love... Uh, of the artwork on those cards. I don't know how playable any of these cards are going to be, but nice uh, slide for support, I guess, with some of these cards. Obviously do not play, but um, this kind of set had some nostalgic feel when I read the description months ago, so I, oh, I ordered a couple of cases. Thought it might have some good potential. Number 39, Utopia would be a good one to pull. And there we have Arcana... Triumph Joker, so let's look her up real fast. Collector Rare, she's going for 66. And in Ultra Rare, she's going for a whopping 320. So, what seems like almost, let's see if we can just look up Ultras. Lightning Storm and Utopia Draco and Joker's Knight are all over $10 and two of those are over $30. But beyond that, all the Ultras are pretty much, you know, two, three dollar cards. So it seems like all of the value in this set is depending on these God cards. So this stream is gonna depend heavily on, on the God cards. Joker's Wild so I think technically there shouldn't be any more Ultras in this box, but definitely have a chance for a Collector Rare, so gotta open up all the packs regardless. So let's see if we can get something cool here.
So I opened uh, Tomb Chaos, which I collect the rares with Rux in. Um, I think we opened about two cases between both of us at his his house. And then I did not buy any uh, Genesis Impact, so um, it's been a, uh, probably about a year now since uh, we I pulled a collector rare. So I do like collector rarities, but uh, I will be interested to see the the God card rarity in person, like I said, because I do not think uh, many people like it. Ooh, so we did get four ultras, so I don't know if that's unusual or not. But we did get four in this box. So Joker straight, I would assume is just a couple dollar card as well in ultra. So, but I do think four, uh, I do think four is not normal. So box number one, last pack. No. So no collector in box one, which is fine, fine, fine. All right, box number two. So we got four ultras out of that first box real fast. So on to box number two. I would like to keep a couple of these sealed um, but I would have to pull at least four collector rares and the god card before I would think about keeping one of these boxes sealed, at least here in this first case. I do have um, a couple cases extra, so I'll probably keep a couple full cases sealed, and then I'd like to just, you know, have a nice box for display, because the box artwork is, is really cool and just, you know, would be nice to have out of a case. So we are on to box number two. There are no secrets in this set, so it would be, um, yeah, normally three ultras. Yeah, so no secrets in this set, so you can pull ultras, collector rares, and the new Aura, I think is what they've officially named it, U-L-R-A rare, which is the God card rarity. Okay, there we go. Number F0 Utopic Braco Future. I think that was like eleven dollar one, so that's a nice, nice ultra pull. Would love to get that in collector rare. I think that's over a hundred dollar one. Um, yeah, I don't really know if there is a difference besides the name. So the secret has the secret kind of foiling for the title and the ultra just has the gold letters. So beyond that, I have not been able to tell. I've not looked at a lot of them, um, but the foiling seems pretty like subpar. It doesn't pop a whole lot with the hieroglyphs and things like that. So we'll just have to get our hands on one here, hopefully, and, um, and really look at it here and then... You guys probably won't be able to tell because I've not been able to tell through um, cameras, but maybe I'll be able to tell more in person. $30. Why does it say... Oh, yeah, you're right. $30. Yep. 31 or as low as $27.99 on TCG Player. So, yeah. So, that pays for, you know, half the box here. I got these um, cases for around $700 each. Um, I got a couple for cheaper and a couple for more expensive, so I'm averaged out at like 700. I actually kind of bought at the peak um, uh, after I, I could have got them for cheaper much later on, but I, I kind of got worried that this was gonna be a really good set, so I bought a couple and then they ended up going down in price, but overall I'm not in too deep and it's not really all about the money either so so we have 26 viewers and 9 likes so let's get that up to at least 15 or 20 likes here quarter cards well I would move Probably rather pull Slifer or Obelisk over Raw, but 
Uh, definitely not going to complain about pulling any of those. Uh, I don't think they're a guarantee, and I've heard of people pulling two in a case, so um, you just never know with Konami how it's going to end up. We'd love to get, you know, a really high-end collector rare out of the way so we we can, you know, if we pull a, a worse one, then Joker's straight again. So, pulled that ultra already. How many ultras are there? I think 10 ultras, so. Reinforcement of the uh, army would be a nice one, not only because it's priced the highest, but because it is a, originally a Legacy of Darkness card. So we'll throw back there to the 2003 set that I'm accustomed to. Got some LON and LOD cards here, reprinted, which is amazing that they're still, um, still printing cards that were printed, you know, 15, 17 years ago. Uh, I guess 18 years ago. Um, still printing cards that were printed then originally in these new sets. Can we get super lucky and pull two god cards or something crazy or have, you know, a, a, a double collector rare box or something weird? I think we pulled one ultra out of this box so far, so we're going to be due for at least two more. I think we did get lucky in that first box having four. That was a nice little bonus. Still looking for that shiny edged collector rare. Rescue Rabbit. Or a Kinect Triumph Joker. So a pretty similar box to the first box that we've opened so far. So we have two Ultras now. So we're probably just going to get three in this box. But that's why you open the packs. You just never know until you get there. Okay. So. Combine some rares into my super pile here, so I gotta clean that up real fast. Okay, I think that's it. to about four packs so we should get one ultra love to see a uh, lightning storm might get averaged out to here and only get two ultras this box but i uh and all the tomb chaos boxes i open I, we never got two in a box so i would assume there'll be a third joker's wild like that artwork there we got two packs here to get one ultra And is it gonna come down to the last pack, I think? Oh no, we did get three ultras, so yeah. So, last pack here probably is nothing. But, could be a god card in here. Nope, Rose Princess, so. Three ultras that box, and box number two, so we'll go on to box number three of 12 here. And hopefully, I think we should, this should be our average to get a collector rare, so hopefully we get a collector rare here out of this box. All right, well, let's see if we can get them not in the last two packs of the case. For the gut cards. Crystal Girl, pack one. There are 37 rares, 15 supers, 10 ultras, so not a whole lot of cards in this set. And then I think five of the rares, five of the supers, and five of the ultras are also in collector rare. At least that's how they did it in Toon Chaos. They took five of, from each of the rarities and made them collector rare. 
Pod Duality. Joker's Wild. Um, there are 12 boxes in one case, and I think there's one collector rare in every three boxes on average, and one god card in one case, so. Can be kind of kind of boring opening this many packs, but then just one pack just changes everything. All right, no ultra so far. Greg, nice of you to join. Okay, uh, you've not missed a whole lot. Not even pulled a lightning storm or a collector yet, so we are a uh, Joker straight. We've pulled that I think in all three boxes now. So. Um, we're looking to pull for our first collector rare still even. Base card fusion. Would love to get on the board with a collector rare this box. But I have faith in the ratio and if we don't pull one until the last three boxes, I'll have faith that we pull one in all of the last three boxes. Count a quart of the cards. All right. Feeling good about one of these next couple packs here. I think I think we're gonna hit something. Nothing there. Um, I would probably say rescue. I think rescue rabbit is one. That one would be kind of cool. I didn't play that era, but I definitely I had the photonic shockwave. I think that's the set originally got printed. I have that in Secret Rare. Um, so that'd be a cool one. Or Reinforcement of the Army would be cool. Uh, I don't really care, I guess. Um, all of them look really cool with uh, that rarity, in my opinion. And I'd almost rather... <laughs> we've pulled this in, I think, every box, you know. Um, I'd almost rather it be one I don't want, because then that way I would actually sell it and make some money back. Versus one I want, I'd probably just end up keeping. So sometimes it's a double-edged sword being a, a being a collector as well as an opener because you end up keeping all the expensive cards and never making any money. All right, first collector, come on. No bueno there. And we pulled two ultras out of this box possibly. And straight to Rose Princess. I don't want to strip, skip straight to the Hollow, because if it's collector work, cut collector rare. I do not want to, you know, just flash it here, build up the suspense a little bit. But I also don't want to take too long going through all the cards. I will be happy with any of the God cards and. Um, Definitely, definitely would be over static with um, it being the secret version, but not going to complain about either of the versions. Joker's Wild. Okay, we got maybe six packs left in box number three. I think we need to pull at least one Ultra still, and then hopefully we can get that Collector Air, but. We will pull one eventually. If not, I will have to have a talk with Sassy. Um, he sold me these cases here, Sassy Auto. So, uh, hook still and I up pretty well normally. So, he was cheapest by far on eBay too for a while. I don't know if he's finally sold out of this set or not, but um, I thought it, they should have been more expensive than they were for his cases on eBay. All right. Magnet induction. All right, three packs. I think we need at least one more ultra. I think one more would get us right. But I also said that last box and we'd already have to Burning Soul, so we, we have not pulled any of the good ultras. 
We pulled that. I guess the second best ultra once, and but we have not pulled a lightning storm and not pulled a collector rare yet. So hopefully these, you know, the last nine boxes treat us better than the first three. How's the condition of the set? Um, I will I will look at the hollows here for you in a, in a little bit. So we are done with that box. Let's look at the the hollows here. Um, yeah, pretty modern, just like factory vertical scratching. I'd say it's probably like the, um, this one looks a little cleaner. It's probably like Ghost or, uh, you know, Rage of Raw. Just one out of every hundred might be clean. But just modern, cheap printing, unfortunately. Which, you know, I wouldn't really look at, at doing a lot of these for PSA. I mean, everyone's opening this product and immediately putting them in sleeves or you know especially if it's a collector or something like that so most of these should be mint in quotations straight out of the pack so um, PSA in my mind doesn't really increase the value of a lot of these modern cards unless they're notoriously you know like Wing Dragon or Raw Ghost Rare from Rage or Raw was notoriously scratched up so if you magically got a PSA 10 then that carries some pretty good value in my mind but unless there's a widely known print issue, print quality, um, PSA shouldn't increase the value a lot in my mind. All right, if we don't get a collector out of this box, maybe we'll get like two in another box or something. So this is box number four of 12. Thirty seven viewers, twenty four likes, so not too bad. Um, if you can get the thirty likes, uh, that'd be great. And if you're magically not subscribed and you're watching this, please subscribe. Uh, I have prematurely opened up um, an item for um, four thousand subscribers, which I know we're decently far away. We're thirty eight fifty nine. Um, you guys are not going to want to miss that opening. That was a, a very big surprise and uh, was really happy with the result of that. So um, you guys want to see that, it's an old school opening and we, I pulled that, pulled something I definitely was not expecting to pull and let me say that. Twenty seven PSA nine and one PSA ten, yeah. So like something like that where you know print quality is just absolute garbage. Um, you know, if you if you have something, you know, ten worthy there, then you have something, but Will we get a collector rare? There we have a new one, Imperial uh, Bower, I think is how you say that, not not a uh, Bower, but Bower. So that is a nice looking Joker card there. Rose Princess. How many supers did I say? Only 15, so yeah. I mean, you're gonna see probably about two of every super a box. So I'm gonna gonna get used to those cards very fast. Looking for our first collector rare. What do we think it's gonna be? It's probably gonna be one I don't even know that's a collector rare. I've looked through the list, but um, even with the tinier list, it's hard to keep everything straight with the different rarities and everything. I think that Kindangle Dolls must be the most printed super rare. I feel like I've seen that one way more than two a box. 
Lightning Storm, there we go. So that is a nice $45 card. We'll actually put that one in a sleeve. So would love to get that one in Collector Rare. I think that's the most, second most valuable Collector Rare. So Ultra Rare there. So that about gets us our value of this box. So I think we have one more Ultra in this box. And I've seen, like, the, um, I've watched um, um, Casual Yugi stuff. He pulled the God card out of the box, and he pulled Lightning Storm out of the same box. So it was a really good box for that guy. I think he sold off the entire boxes. Um, I do have three cases where I might be entertained to, like, you know, sell off an entire case and open it for you guys or something, but unsure at this point really what I'd want to do. I'm not in a super big hurry. I do also have some cases of ghosts from the past that maybe I'll eventually do something with, but um, maybe just set on them for a year or two and see kind of what they do. If they go down, maybe just crack them myself and, and have the fun of ghost hunting or collector rare hunting in this set. Um, and if they go up, then maybe I'll sell them off and move my money towards something else. Okay, so probably about six packs left in this box. Let's keep waiting for that collector rare pattern on a border, but I have not seen it yet. I have not seen it yet. I'll probably like miss it even when we do see it and then just flip it open there. Thanks to pack da Don. Court of cards. My my rare pile over here is getting ridiculously tall, so what the Scoot that out of the way here and just get a second pile started here shortly. So I think we're four boxes in. We have eight left, so plenty of chance to pull something crazy for sure. One pack left in box number four. Well, there's only one per case, Greg, so you uh you have pretty slim odds. Morph King Stigel Gel. So I, that is a new one for sure, but I have never seen that one. So I would assume that one is probably not worth a whole lot. But let's see if we can find it here on page two. Yeah, 95 cents. So. All right, we are on to box number five. Still hunting. Still hunting our first collector rare. So, maybe they're uh, all stuck in one box or something. Yeah, I, uh, as a viewer, it's very nice to get, you know, rushed, bum rushed at the end with, you know, big hitters, but as a person that's opening it, I'd rather just get the good pulls. Uh, in my pocket and, and have my money and then everything else would be you know whipped cream and cherry on top yeah I think this is a, a decent set to set on with the god cards even though people people don't like them but they can't help but gravitate to them because they are the god cards and they're you know some of the most you know well known cards in the game so as many times as they re reprint them people are still going to gravitate towards them and a uh, new rarity the first of their kind so i think they'll have good value long term burning soul that will not have good value long long term most likely yeah we have plenty of plenty of room here to make up for the first four boxes just takes a couple packs Really just one pack to get us way back back on track. Yeah, I, I look forward to seeing a new rarity in person here. And um, 
so I can rightfully say it looks like garbage too, but until I see one in person, um, cause with the collector rares, they're hard to, they're hard to see too in, um, in videos and things, but these millennium rares will look even harder to see. And I will, if I pull one, I'll try to take a good picture and post it to my Instagram and uh, show off the, the symbols and stuff. No CR pulled yet, you have not missed anything. So the God cards are in a, they have ultra rare titles and they have secret rare titles. Um, so there are two different rarities and the price difference in TCG play right now is like 450 for the secret and 150 for the ultra. So big price difference. Joker's Knight, there we go, that's a nice one. That's the uh, box art there. Let's see. I saw one today. I was not impressed. Prismatic God Box is really nice. One of rares. I don't own them. Kind of sad in since I like them. Yeah. Sealed is definitely always safer, but um, if you love to love the gamble and take that chance, and you know, ripping is always more fun. Um, if you you know, if you can stand to lose, you know. Fifty, sixty dollars buying a box isn't, you know, it gives you pretty good enjoyment. No CR yet. All right, let's see if we have something here. Nope, Hyper Galaxy. Really thought I saw some extra shine when I opened that pack. a secret version wow wow oh wow oh wow it's a secret version we got it wow I was not expecting that that is insane so that might be you guys there I feel like that's as good as anyone's shown it so far so I mean the higher the hieroglyphics are you know they're showing through pretty good right there and then they got the secret title yeah that was unexpected no no collector rare so far and we have our secret rare winged dragon of raw couple light scratches on the back um probably like you know if you were to grade it probably a PSA 9 definitely near mint still um a little OC in the front, but that thing, um, let's see if I can get it, like you can see it popping through there in like some dimmer light, and then popping through there, like I feel like that's pretty good, like I feel like people have not been showing that off well enough, like you can see, see it really well right there, what do you guys think? Yeah, so let me know what you guys think about that rarity, because I, I, like, I feel like people have not been showing off the hieroglyphics very well. Because, like, I mean, I can see it very plain as day there in the background, I hope you guys can see it right there. Let's see, we'll get, get you guys caught up, I'm on like a 10 second delay. So, I mean, like, it's popping through all through there and in the background right there between his wing and his body really well all right so we have pulled pulled the big one so far so that's that's as good as it's gonna get for this opening but we still have we still have four collector rares to go so let's go Um, actually, what I said earlier, I wanted to pull Obelisk or Slifer, so it's very fitting that I pulled Raw, but that Raw looks good, and I do agree that, um, even on, like, the GBI guard cards, um, Slifer's, um, um, holographic is 
his body takes up so much of the square that it just never seems to um, really have a lot of shine to it. So like Wing Dragon or Raw, there's a lot of area in Slifer, especially a lot of area for Hollow to fill in. So uh, I'd say Slifer is probably my favorite, um, but Raw is definitely beautiful. Um, I don't know, I might have, let's see. Uh, here we have, we'll get, we'll get out the original God cards really fast and look at those. Uh, yeah. I don't have an obelisk on hand, actually, surprisingly. Actually, I might, like here. Okay. So we're going to go down memory lane here and look at some Seeker Rare God cards. So yeah, like obelisk here, there's just not a lot of body for the hollow to show through. Um, this is a USA box. And then here for, here is the original. Here we'll show, we'll show all three rarities. I do not have a ghost rare raw. So there's the ultra rare raw in Slifer and Obelisk. And there's a lot of hollow available for Slifer as an ultra rare. And then as a secret rare, Slifer just, I mean, takes the cake. I mean, it got a lot of hollow to pop on it. And then, yeah, Obelisk just does not have a lot. So there is, this is Donna Destiny, so not GBI, but still, same artwork, but just completely different printing. So there's your little uh, history lesson for the day. So I'm going to be selling off that Obelisk here on uh, next week for on whatnot so my, the link to that is um, in my description or bio on uh, Instagram and it's in my story as well all right so enough of that we'll get back to the opening let's see All right, so we are gonna be, oh, we are, haven't even finished opening the pack here on this next, second of the next pack. So, I'm all discombobulated. Did not, <laughs> was not expecting to pull that before a collector rare. That is wild, so. Well, it's, um, I mean, you can say the seller pulled some shady stuff. I mean, he could have opened a box or opened a case, pulled, you know, raw or pulled the collector rares and sold off a spare box. But I mean, I've pulled some, one of these boxes was pretty garbage and you know, it just tastes fresh. It just, it is random luck for sure. Will we get a collector rare in this box? I have seen, like I said, the last time I was watching, I saw raw and a collector rare get pulled out of the same box. So can we have that happen? Yeah, but uh, Grizzly Grows, a collector rare is one in every three boxes. So, I mean, the odds of you actually pulling one in every box is astronomically low. So, I'd say just the odds uh, were in your favor the first box, and then they went back to a normal ratio the second box. Nothing. Maybe maybe got two ultras so far. So I think we're at least due for a another ultra so if you magically not like this video smash the thumbs up for this beauty right here absolutely gorgeous so box five treated us well but no collector rare yet which is wild
So I this is this is uh, American. I do have um, some EU cases as well from Tier Zero. So um, I I'll probably end up opening one more case, and it will be Tier Zero. So I will open one American case and one European case. So we will get the true ratios, maybe. So one pack left. I think we're due for an ultra, but I would not complain at all if Wing Dragon Raw replaced the ultra in this box. I guess technically it isn't ultra or ultra or whatever you want to call it, which it was the secret version. Oh, we did get it. Joker straight. Last pack. Ultra. All right. So we are five boxes through seven to go. And we are collector rareless. So... Um, these next seven boxes should hopefully be pretty loaded. That would be absolutely insane if we pulled another god card. Um, but I would rather pull another god card than, you know, an extra collector rare for sure. It'll be interesting to see if, you know, magically I do end up opening the other case I get or I got with, um, from Sassy if the god card would be ultra or secret rare. All right, we think this is the box for our first collector. I would hope so, but with uh, when Rex and I opened Toon Chaos, we hit a streak of like three boxes in a row, and then uh, we went we went cold for I think five boxes. So definitely, you know, they they definitely don't put them in the case the same way every time. But yeah, I was, uh, you know, I was, I was poking the cards out, and that Wing Dragon Raw, the symbol just looked a little weird. I'm like, is this a collector rare? And then pulled it out, and there it was. So, um, I, I would guess probably Slifer in secret rare form would be worth the most, um, out of this set long term. But I don't really know if you can go wrong with any of the God cards. I would assume they'll probably dip a bit. Um, and like people will grade these. I think they probably are worth gradable, worth being graded. And I think PSA 10s will hold value. Um, like, you know, if someone was going to sell me a PSA 10 of one of these God cards, I'd probably buy it if it was the price was decent. So I think there will be demand for the God cards in secret form from this set. Yeah. Uh, Reinforcements, uh, reinforcement of the army is the highest collector rare, um, besides um, the secret forms of the god cards. All right, we have still not hit a collector rare, and this is going to be our sixth box. Unless I'm just blind and can't see them. Um, do I think Ghost from the Past is a good investment? It's hard to say anymore because everyone is just like so in tune to like, oh, I'm going to buy a product and sit on it. I'm going to clean out Walmart. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And so like everyone is just like, I feel like artificially just setting on this stuff and uh, waiting for it to go up. And then people are going to sell off. So you're going to have to really play, I think, the long game and, and, you know, because if it goes up, you know, $100, people people are going to get anxious and be like, I'm getting rid of it, I'm going to make my $100 a case or whatever, or, and things like that. So I think, um, and then, you know, a lot of people will come to the market when it goes up $100, and then it'll come back down. So I think you're just going to have to hold and really let the uh, the paper hands kind of uh, fold, and, and then uh, when mm -hmm. there actually is nothing left, possibly, then you might be able to, you know, cash in. Okay. No collector yet. Come on. We've had we do have the gods on our side, at least the Wing Dragon of Raw, so can they bring us a collector rare? Not in that pack. Yeah, I, I think when more information comes up about secrets versus ultra god cards, 
that will dictate the price tremendously because uh, it's very up in the air right now on what the ratio is so yeah I don't know I'll probably probably move that raw um, just uh, yeah I mean that pretty much pays for the case so um, probably cash in on this case and then um, ooh second lightning storm so not a not a collector rare but a good ultra probably cash in on this case and then if I open another one and magic we don't pull anything then you know I'll probably have you know about break even have my fun and and move on I just am baffled that we've opened six boxes and no collector here. With that open uh, open an eBay case against Sassiato on this one, no. He gets some crazy, crazy messages on eBay. It's hilarious. On the, the OP, I opened the product and it was counterfeit, but I threw it away so I can't return it. Like just like the craziest off the wall stuff um, that people have excuses for getting a refund. And obviously eBay is like, no, you're a top rated seller. We don't trust this zero feedback person. You don't owe them any money. All right, rescue rabbit. Magnet induction. I mean, I'll take like three lightning storms a box over a collector rare too, but I'd love to pull, pull a collector rare at some point. I do think I don't I don't think I've seen one, but I do think collector or uh, rescue rabbit is a collector rare, so that would be a fun one to pull. I think. Hog duality. Oh, we do have our first one. So, I think this is gonna have to be one of the nights. We'll wait for you guys to catch up. So I think this is one of the nights. What, which one do we think it's Queen's Knight or King's Knight or Jack's Knight all right so we will just turn it over here ooh we got a nice nice dent in the back there of course that's too bad all right we have Jack's Knight so that is a nice one, but that's gonna have to be played, unfortunately, with it being right in the middle of the back. So, it is what it is, but we did hit our first collector rare. Let's see if we just put that maybe right there. But unfortunately, did have some damage. So, that is, gotta love modern Yu Gi Oh!'s damage straight out of the pack. So. There are collector rares in here, so now we gotta find the other two or three. Yeah, the the collection video I just I mean that happened very fast. Like um the LA box deal where we purchased the case of LOB and MRD, like I thought that happened fast and that was like a couple week process and um, this last deal that I did, it was just like, hey, you know anyone interested? I was like, what are you, what are you looking for? And he gave me a price. I was like, I can fly out this weekend and um, and flew out, flew there and back in the same day. I flew out at like six in the morning, got there at ten, looked at it for a couple hours. Um, we went to the bank. I got him a cashier's check and flew back that same night. And got back at like ten thirty at night. So it was a really long day for me, but. Um, he wanted to deal in person. He only wanted to deal with me or a couple other people because he knew of my trustworthiness and I knew I wasn't going to yank his chain or waste his time, really. So, Burning Soul again. So, that was a wild purchase for sure. So, selling off some of those cards on my eBay. I created a new uh, eBay sales page, vintage underscore Yu Gi Oh! underscore sales. So, if you've not stumbled upon that yet I just created that like yesterday I think uh, look, look that up and see if you're interested in any old stuff for sure
Yeah, do have I do have the DDS Dark Magician available still. That's a harder one to price, but um, a really beautiful card. Yeah, Mrs. Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! Boo damage, yes. The Collector Rare had damage, but the Winged Dragon of Raw did not, so that is the, probably the more important card not to have damage. Yeah, so Secret Rares are apparently hard to get, but uh, we, no one knows the ratio on these yet. Um, so I can definitely see them going up in price, or I can see them going down in price. So uh, I'm very tempted if, you know, if I can get $500 or 600 or whatever they're going for right now, I'm very tempted to cash out on it on that one. Yep, same day, yeah, so I, I was like, eh, there's no point in spend, spending money. I mean, I'm spending thousands of dollars on this collection, but I'm like, eh, there's no point in spending money on a, a hotel or anything. So he, he actually picked me up from the airport. Um, we drove to like a nice little park area and we looked through the cards and then even got lunch after um, went to the bank and things. So it was very casual and laid back and really easy to work with. and. And a really smooth experience overall. So yeah, gonna be auctioning off a lot of first edition and old school cards on whatnot. You guys can find that link in my um, Instagram bio and in my story right now. I have a link in my story. I hit ten thousand followers on Instagram today, so. I guess a, a big milestone for a lot of people, I guess, just a, you know, not just another number, but it is, you know, just a nice round number. And that allows you to put links in your story now so I can link things easier so people don't have to go through my bio. They can just click the links there in the story post. So if you guys are interested in uh, looking at some old school cards that I'm gonna be auctioning off, you can click the link in my story. Uh, we actually just, I was like, we could, he's like, you want to eat lunch? I was like, oh, you know, like we can get fast food or whatever. My flight was like five hours later. So I was like, we can do whatever you want. We can eat someplace local. And there was a farmer's market like right down the road from the bank. So we just walked there and I ate, ate some mac and cheese and um, some like deep fried, uh, I should know the name of it, but it was like deep fried potatoes uh, pretty much. So a lot of carbs. <laughs> Pull that collector rare. We have pulled one collector rare and one god card secret rare. So we are behind schedule on collector rares, but ahead of schedule on the god cards. But glad you could finally catch one at Grizzly Grows. Um, didn't really plan on doing this tonight, but I'm. I am swamped all weekend and I wanted to get these cards open and posted on TCG players. So, uh, ooh, there we go, F Zero. So that's a $30 one. So I wanted to get these opened and posted so I could like, I can let them sit there all tomorrow and, and sell while I'm busy. So after this stream is over, I will be posting all the hollows straight to TCD player. Mine is what? My absolute favorite card. Um, if I, you know, if I had to be buried with one, regardless of value or anything, it's Barrel Dragon. Uh, big Bandit Keith guy, so I love Barrel Dragon and Machine King. Um, so, a lot of machines are my top favorite. Cyrus Stein, Machine King, um, blowback dragon, Jinzo. Can't go wrong with a machine, you know. Slot machine is a common even. Is is just really nice. And we have face card fusion. Um, possibly in the last five minutes you maybe missed this Jack's Knight. Not sure. Collector rare did have a ding in the back there, like an indent. So probably like light played played. I don't know. I don't know what you call things. Like everything's mint, but there's a fall. So it's like. You know, when you compare some people's light play to other people's light play, you know, that might be, might be a completely different damage. 
Yep, I already pulled the gut on oh, David, so. That was a super Ooh, lightning stone. We have a play set of lightning stone now, so that was a nice pull there. Yeah, pulled the god out of nowhere before we even pulled a collector rare, so. Get this lightning storm sleep. I don't even think I pulled the last one out. Maybe it, yeah, I did. So we have a play set of lightning storms, so that helps tremendously also. But, I mean, you get three a box, you should get 30, 36 ultras, and there are 10 ultras, so you should get, I mean, you should get three, three and a half. If there's no short prints, you should get three in a case, so hopefully we can get over the uh, over the odds on that and get a fourth to help pay for the box that is the yeah the secret version is what i have i'll uh we'll get through this box and i'll show it again for people that have popped in here that haven't seen it up close yet um i just i feel like i don't know if i've seen strict or uh, simply uh, unlucky might have pulled the secret version i don't recall but um the one i saw last night was the ultra version and it was very hard to see the hieroglyphics, um, but we will try to show that off because I think that it looks it looks better in person than I thought it would. Um, people are really talking down on it, and um, I can see the hieroglyphics right now looking at it. There's hardly any light on it, so. You guys should see the stack of rares. So like, you know, here I like, I it's probably like almost two feet tall of just rares and a pile next to me it's uh it would be bad if it toppled over right now what's mrs vintage Yu-Gi-Oh's favorite card oh yeah she um so yeah she has her um her master's in epidemiology so that's the study of disease so she she's a big like uh you know crush card um she likes uh plague spreader zombie is one i just picked up so she kind of like that one deck devastation virus so yeah she kind of like on the the virus side of things with the you know uh epidemiology and the spread of disease uh robert bailey we will show that bad boy god card off after about four more packs here and it is the secret version oh yeah she does like karibo too yeah sucker uh, sucker for karibo the uh, MRD artwork, not the PCY artwork. She's probably not even seen that artwork. So she is a fan of the MRD one though. But yeah, I, uh, I dueled for the first time in like uh, probably about ever the other night. So uh, she suffered through watching me duel with one of my friends. So it was like old school, uh, nothing was banned. Like I had Yada, um, had Forceful Sentry, Heavy Storm, Change of Heart, all the like all the OP Regeki uh, cards. So that was uh, fun to whip out those old cards and and do Arcanet Triumph Joker Ultra Rare. Uh, do I have a TCG player link? No, I don't. Um, uh, I do not know my name off the top of my head, but if I was a betting man, I would guess it's Vintage underscore Yu-Gi-Oh, or if it's not that, then it's just probably Vintage Space Yu-Gi-Oh. I do have a couple cards probably listed active for sale in there, so if you find a page that's got like maybe like 10 or 15 active items, that's probably mine. Yeah, I did, I did dominate the duel. Um, the guy, the guy showed up with just some random cards that he used to duel with, and he kind of made his deck on the spot where I kind of prepared. So we are through seven boxes. We have one collector rare, but we do have the secret rare version of the Wing Dragon Raw. So there are the hieroglyphics there in the background. And like I said, I think people have done a pretty poor job of showing these off because, uh, like, okay, you can't see it here at all, but then you get, like, here you can see it see it on the left side and then you can really see it pop through on the right side there and maybe obos can slifer or harder to show off but i feel like you can really see it pretty well it's nothing like the ocg for sure but um in my mind it's uh it's better than what i thought it was going to be so yeah it's a little oc um there's kind of a couple scratches on the back and it looks like there might be a couple white specks up there on the top edge i don't know what i'm going to do with it honestly 
I, I fully expected with my luck that I was going to pull um, pull the ultra version and just sell it and move on with life. But now that I have the secret version, it might be a dangerous financial adventure where I buy Slifer and Obelisk also. So, you never know. Never know what I'm going to do. So we are in box number seven. We still have four in the case down there on the ground. And we have one collector rare. So I would assume... We're gonna get at least two more collector rares, but what do I know? Yeah, and then I do have, so, I came a little prepared, I dug him up. There is the original, well, the second printing. Same exact artwork, they re-released Wing Dragon of Raw in Dawn of Destiny after the GBI version, but there it is in its original. Two, this is a 2003 card. And then GBI, Ultras, and Secrets are 2002, I believe. Yeah, there, there they are. These are ready to go off the PSA if they would ever open up at a lower service level. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll get lucky enough and open up another case and pull another secret version that's not raw. And then I'll I'll just pick. Okay, well, you know that makes it more manageable just to buy the third. All right, still looking for our second collector rare. Speed back up here. I feel like I've slowed down chit chatting a lot, but um, it never hurts to converse and answer some questions and get some thoughts. So. Yeah, GBI, I think you can't go wrong with with Ultras or Secrets of those cards. I do think, I mean, both have really high populations, but um, I think Secrets will always hold some good value, even with their high populations, because they are so, so beautiful. They really, really pop off the card, and they are the god cards, of course, so who wouldn't want... You know, it would be Merrick or Yugi or Kaiba. Yeah, so back then, gold, I, I don't know why they called it gold versus just ultra, um, but from what I know, they, they, they released the game um, I think they released the game and then they didn't make enough possibly and they had like a second printing or maybe um, one printing was for uh, one country and, and another printing was for another country or something like that and then that's why they had the two different rarities I think that uh, like I don't think they were necessarily called silver and gold I think um, when PSA started grading them they were so incoherent with um, Yu-Gi-Oh cards they're like, oh, this title silver, we'll call it silver. Oh, this title's gold, we'll call it gold versus secret and ultra. So I would probably blame that more on PSA and not on Konami or or the creators of Yu-Gi-Oh. So we have Guilty Gear Free, so I think that's like a four dollar card. Because when I started initially submitting cards to, to PSA back in like 2016, I mean they were they were all over the place on things. So um, didn't have any guidance from anyone with any Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge. And I mean I have learned a lot in the last five years. I would not have been the right person either for sure. But um, they needed someone because they were mislabeling a lot of things. And they didn't even designate ultimates, for example, or um, you know, it's taken years to get reprints sorted out and, and different variants and things like that. So. Looking for our second collector rare. Eh, we'll finish off this deck. Yeah, like I said, I could be, I'm completely spitballing my theory there and why they call it gold and silver, but I think it's probably very valid. 
that PSA just had no idea what they were doing, and they're like, oh, gold is gold, silver, silver, easy, versus, oh, uh, you gotta look at the foil, and if it's, if it's this way, then it's secret, and if it's this way, it's ultra, we'll just call it what, it, what color it is. Okay, we have 40, oh, we are pretty good, 45 viewers and 42 likes, so thank you guys for liking. Uh, do I think there's a chance to find an LB box for 30k? Um, so actually the last, it's kind of, the box price has dipped a little bit. Um, there was a, there was an auction, um, there was an auction on eBay that actually ended for like 25, and I tried to bid on it, and my bid didn't go through for some reason with like a couple seconds left, so I missed out on that. But, you know, there's always weird weird ways to work things out because I then use that money to buy this collection I just bought. But And then on another auction site, a wavy box sold for, uh, I think, after fees and everything, like maybe like thirty three to 35000 So, yeah, I think there's definitely, definitely somewhere out there that you might find one in an auction format. I don't think anyone's going to put it like a buy it now for thirty k, But um, I think... If you're patient enough, you might stumble. There we have a Morking Stygie Gel, again, or however you pronounce that. Uh, I think if you wait long enough, you might find, but they might, they might, you know, wall out here and then spike back up to, you know, uh, 45 or 50K again, so. Well, it's probably not a little weird to that here, yeah. I was about to submit a handful of cards before the increase of the Yeah, yeah, I had... Luckily, um, I submitted a lot of cards to PSA at uh, like $10 a card. I think I sent like 130-ish. And then they jumped to 20 and I, I, I don't know why I did it, but I'm like, yeah. I, I submitted more cards at $20 a level and then they shut down. And then um, during the shutdown, I finally saw that um, people were getting uh, sealed packs back with, like they used to, they used to grade card or grade packs and they'd, they'd fold the tops up like this and fold the bottom like, like, okay, you're grading a pack and then you're damaging it big into the case, like dumbest thing ever. And they finally got a new case where they, they're actually grading the packs now without folding them. So I noticed that, so I sent um, some packs off and then I saw, uh, I wanted to grade some tournament pack uh, cards. Used to doing the card trick there. Uh, I wanted to grade some tournament pack packs and uh, I'm like, eh, you know, it's a skinnier pack because there's only three cards in it. So I was like, they're probably still folding it or doing something funky. And then I saw one of those where nothing was folded. So I sent in some tournament pack packs. And then like literally two days after that, they're like, yeah, we're no longer accepting packs at uh, the $25 or $50 pack. You have to spend $100 a pack now to get it graded. Hey, Ryu. Troy, what do you do for work that lets you spend this much on a hobby? Um, I'm an engineer during the day. Um, but luckily enough, I, I got in, in the hobby early enough where, um, you know, I, I was buying LOB mint, like minty mint PSA 10 raw cards for under $50, buying LOB supers for four or $5. Uh, I remember buying, you know, God cards for three, four or $5, you know, Genzo's for 20 where like stuff is literally, um, hundred times so it's just um, just beyond beyond dumb luck and stupidity that I fell into this uh, recollecting when I did and so I've sold off Ooh, hopefully we don't have anything here because this has some bad damage of course Imperial Bower damaged again what are we doing Konami look at that thing that's freaking brutal So yeah, so I have a lot of, um, I sell some stuff off to, to make make money for, to be able to do some other stuff. Wow, so I'm, I'm probably just gonna probably put this in a binder and keep this one with how damaged it is. I probably, probably won't get the price I want for it with that damage. So I'll probably just end up keeping this one. But wow, two, two collector's rares and both have damage. So other than that though, that edge, edge where it looks pretty good, but 
I almost I almost knew that that was gonna happen when I saw that 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 would be the luck. So at least when Guy and Raw did not have any damage. Samson, so we have pulled two collector rare now, and we pulled the secret version of Wing Dragon of Raw. So uh, we've kind of caught up on the collector rare um, pace. Uh, we did not pull any in the first six boxes. So did you see that I was gonna buy it? Uh, what grade was it? Right? Was it a PSA nine or was it ungraded or or what was it? Oh, we got a number F0 to end the box with us. That's a nice, that was a nice box with the collector rare in that. So, Not a bad box even with the damage collector rare. PSA 9. I'm kind of unfamiliar with PSA 9 prices right now. I think that probably sounds right. I think PSA 10 is probably like, what, 4K or something? Maybe 5. So PSA 9 is probably around that. I've actually only owned one copy of Summon Skull ever. And I got a PSA 10, so I did not have a binder copy. And now, um, now I have another one in this collection. Of course, it's gradable, which I should never complain about a card being gradable. Um, but I'm still kind of looking for a kind of just, you know, a nice front summon skull for my binder. And I never can stumble upon one of those. Or uh, LOB Dark Magician don't have one for my binder. Uh, they're always too too minty when I magically stumble upon them. Um, so I'm eight boxes in. I have two collector rare and the wing dragon of raw back there. So I think we're probably on pace. Um, I can definitely see us only getting three collector rares. I've heard from you guys in the chat that um, um, it's possible to only get three in North American boxes. So. We will open probably if we if we pull four before the last box, I'll probably keep a box sealed. But if we do not, then I'll I'll open every pack here and we'll see the the, the ratio I get out of this case. Uh, I do not. So P, uh, BPT um, B skulls are pop six. I do own it in BGS 9.5, but I'm not one of the six people that own it in PSA 10. I am missing, I'm content with it at BGS 9.5. I'm missing the 003 Blue Eyes and the Lord of D, I think, in PSA 10. And I have the other nine in PSA 10 and then B Skull in BGS 9.5. So, I have Dark Magician 001, have Red Eyes, have some in skull. So yeah, yeah. Just missing 003 and uh, Water D, which is I think 06. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I just magically kind of I, I I collected in 2002. Had some cards, um, and then 2000 like 10 came around, and I'm like, oh, you know, let's see what Yugi is doing. And cards seem to be like I, I was still in high school. Cards seem to be you know, relatively cheap where I was like, yeah, I wouldn't mind buying some of the cards that I remember as, you know, as a kid in second, third, fourth grade. And so I bought um, some individual cards and then I bought three packs of the Absolute Power Force, which was the set that was out then. And they sent me three boxes and said it was on Troll and Toad. So it was a complete mix up on their part and that kind of got me hooked a little bit back into the game. And then when the Legendary Collection God cards come out, um, Troll and Toad was pre-selling them on their site for like five or six dollars, and I was selling them, pre-selling them on eBay for like fifteen dollars. So that kind of got me into like the making money side of Yu-Gi-Oh, and then so I kind of went lull for you know five six years again. And then when I was in college, I was looking at buy list and stuff, and I was like, I can buy this card on eBay for fifteen dollars and sell it on Troll and Toad for twenty five. Like, why is no one doing this? So I, I started buying cards and keeping, you know, if they're in good condition, I learned about PSA and grading. If they're in good condition, I would grade them. And if they weren't, I would sell them to buy list or back on eBay for more. And, um, you know, I'd get, I started, you know, I'd grade a PSA 8 or 9 of a card. I'm like, okay, I'm very happy with that. And then um, 
I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll just keep buying, and then I'd, I'd buy another version of the same card, and we'd get a nine or a ten, and then I'd sell off my eight or nine. So, I mean, I probably had sevens through tens on about every LOB in it, at least every LOB card. Um, I've owned probably a, a PSA 7, 8, 9, and 10, um, and just slowly build up to where I have all the tens that I have. Um, how many blue eyes do I have? So I have a wavy. I guess like after this first, this buying this collection, I got two LOB blue eyes in this last collection. I have, um, which was one was a wavy and one was a glossy, and then I have a wavy and glossy PSA ten, and then I have a glossy PSA eight, and then I have a pretty uh, heavy play, no dents or creases, I don't think. Um, just for my binder, so I guess technically I have six LOB blue eyes right now, but I do not plan on keeping that many. What are you hoping to pull? Um, I would love to pull a Rescue Rabbit Collector Rare or a Lightning Stone Collector Rare at this point. Definitely don't plan on pulling another God card. Um... Did you ever think the paper subforms were a bit? Are you talking like paper subforms for like PSA or what? Are you, what are paper subforms are you talking about? Yeah, I was a I was a college hustler. I was like, you know, if I can sell off and make ten bucks, that's that's a couple drinks at the bar on Thursday night. So anything to make a couple bucks, I am. And you know, that's another thing. I kind of grew my collection beyond what I ever thought I would because. You know, if things were good buys, even though I didn't necessarily want them for my collection, uh, I buy them anyway just because I knew I could probably make money off of it. And then I ended up growing to like the card or um, like probably like tournament pack one and two commons like uh, in rares. Like I, I, I like the hollows and then I think I bought a set that had all the commons. I was like, man, these are nice. I'll grade them. And now I have all of them in PSA 10 because I, I went down an avenue I probably shouldn't have somewhere. And then here we are. Um, I actually, I, I never, uh, I never did a paper copy of PSA forms. I, uh, all mine have been electronic online, so I missed that portion of PSA grading, fortunately. And BGS has finally switched to electronic submissions here in 2021, five or six years beyond PSA when they did it. So, um, kind of glad they've done that. So I think it's easier. It'll be easier for them and they'll hopefully speed their process up too. Um... I would grade your Ghost Dark Magician only if, uh, like a lot of them had like dents on the back. Like I pulled one with Ruxin, Ruxin pulled one for me really. And then I pulled one myself and both had uh, damage on the back. So if they had damage on the back, I would probably not grade it. Um, it has hollow scratches, but no damage on the back. And you'd like, well, it depends also if, you, if you're trying to grade it. And, and get a 10 and to sell it or if you're trying to grade it just because you want it. Uh, I would never say don't grade it if you if you just want a card graded because I've graded a lot of cards that um, I just personally want graded and probably no one else would really want to buy it. Arkana and Triumph Joker. So if you want it for yourself, you know, I would wait until PSA opens their service level down to $20 a card or somewhere near that price and probably just send it in and probably going to have to wait a year and um, you'll get it back eventually. Um, if you think it's like PSA 10 worthy um, and you're trying to flip it, uh, I would probably maybe wait until PSA opens to like a hundred dollar level and, and kind of bite the bullet on that just so you get it back somewhat soon uh, and, um, and then go that route. Yeah, so if yours is perfect, it just depends. It, like, I mean, so, Everyone's like, oh, you know, PSA needs to open. I need to grade my cards. If you're grading cards to keep in your collection, literally, like, if I'm grading this card to keep in my collection, I'm sending it to PSA, and guess what? The exact same card is coming back to me. It's just now magically covered in some plastic and got a number slapped on it. So, like, I'm in no rush to get cards back that are mine because they're staying with me forever. If I'm trying to flip it and, and sell it to make money to buy something else, then that's a different story. But if you're trying to keep cards like grade cards that you want to keep, um, don't spend the extra money to get the card back a month faster or anything because you're gonna keep the card and then you're just out that much more money. So, but if you're trying to flip it, then you have to weigh the cons. Like if this gets a nine, 
Um, can I, paying this you know, grading fee and how much I spent on the product, am I fine with that outcome? Or no, I only can get a 10 to make money, then you probably shouldn't submit it at that service level. So yeah, if you, um, I'm gonna keep it for a long time. Uh, I would just hold on to it and just wait until they lower their service level. Ooh, there we go, a play set of number F0. Um, so yeah, and then, you know, BGS is another avenue for sure. Um, I am very heavy in the PSA, but um, BGS isn't necessarily bad. Um, if it's just resale value, people are gonna pay for a 10 much easier than a 9.5 or a 9. But nothing really wrong with BGS. Just personal preference, especially since you're keeping the card, it's, it's just gonna be personal preference. So we are on to box number 10. Yeah, but you you have five possibly, but you know, I started with five. I started with five at one point and here we are. So, you know, I definitely did not build build my collection overnight. You know, many, many years and many purchases and um, lots of grading. I've probably, I would hate, I could, I could sum it up pretty easily, I think, but I have just never done it. How much I've spent on grading cards. And um, like I have a big submission I sent last July, um, TCG value, so I think it was like six or seven dollars a card still back then. And um, last July, and they're, uh, so it's coming up on a year since I sent the cards in. So really excited to get that one back. But just, you know, collecting takes time. You can't, unless you, you know, you have a, a trust fund or a, a rich parents or, or something, you know, hit the lottery, then you're just not gonna be able to grow your collection very fast. Because even, even if you have the money um, to try to pry some of these cards out of collector stands that are, you know, some of these cards are top, top 10 or below, you're just not going to do it. Like, you could, you could offer me stupid money for some of my cards, and I just would not sell it to you. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, so the video I did on BGS it, is very valid. Um, like, I made it, and there's no, there's no, you know, I just provided the facts. On that I didn't you know I'm not like mad at them or anything but it, it just shows you how subjective grading companies are so people unfamiliar with the video uh, we sent um, 14 cards in we were unhappy with the grades correct those same 14 cards and submitted them again and so there's 56 subgrades between those 14 cards four subgrades a card and out of those 56 subgrades between the first submission and the second submission 39 of the 56 numbers changed. So uh, just shows you how subjective grading is, especially when you're getting on like a half point scale. Um, a lot of the times they were only different by a half a point, but there was probably five to seven times dif uh, different where they jumped like a whole point. And so it just shows you how, you know, human error is, is always gonna be a part of grading. Yeah, yeah, so uh, I just submitted a card um, for uh, BOA, and um, yeah, it was a BGS 9.5 with nine on centering, and you just gotta use your eyes on centering, and uh, and we crossed it to, crossed it to PSA, and it just, uh, you guys will see that video shortly, uh, here in probably a couple weeks. I'm behind on posting videos for sure, so, but live stream's easy, you know, don't have to do any editing or anything, we just have raw conversation, ripping some packs open, pulling some gods, pulling some collector rares, and hopefully I'm answering some questions you guys have and uh, not confusing myself too much. So we pulled a play set of that card now too. We have two and a half boxes left about. Uh... I have, I have not hit a collector rare version of the Arkham and Joker Knight, but I think I've hit probably three ultras of that card. Yeah, uh, yeah. so yeah, a lot of people, they want perfection, they see a 9.5, they're like, okay, there's flaws with it, I don't want it. And in reality, most PSA 10s, if not all, and even, even BGS 10s, um, when you get a 10 subgrade or something, they probably, um, uh, I've seen a lot of 10, 10 subgrades where I'm scratching my head at like, how did you get that there? Um, so 
buy the card, don't buy the grade. I mean, if you're going to put anything on my tombstone when I die, put that, I guess, because I've said that too many times the last couple of years. Um, and just no sense. And I mean, last per I'm the last person to say it. Should be saying it with my collection in PSA 10s, but, you know, no reason to overpay for a low-quality 10 uh, when there are solid 8s and 9s out there. So look at the card before you buy it. And, well, I would say, fortunately with me, like, I've graded four LOB Blue Eyes, for example. So I've tried to keep, when I've had options to keep between different PSA 10s, I've always analyzed the card and tried to keep the best version. So I would like to think that my most of my 10s are in better condition than other people's 10s. Uh, not to, like, pat myself on the back too hard there or anything, but... Um, I've definitely been around long enough to see a wide variety of, um, a wide range of, of nines and tens. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm not doing a giveaway on my Instagram. Um, uh, I might do something if I have some spare packs left over from this or something. I'm doing, I'm selling some cards, um, all the cards I post in my store I'm selling next week on Whatnot, so that might be what you saw. And I created a, I created a sales page to sell some of the singles I just got out of the collection. So you probably saw one of those two pictures. All right, can we get our third collector rare? Ooh, that's the first one of these. I do think these are not too expensive, but that's interesting to see. That's that this is our first one of these in this entire box opening, so that's interesting. Yeah, so if you saw a little video on my story of going through some cards, then those are the, I think I got 40 cards I'm gonna sell um, next Tuesday night, so all uh, we got GBI God cards, um, Machine King EMI or Ultra, uh, all that uh, BPT promos, oh, um, nothing LOB, I don't think. Maybe uh, like PGB and DCR hollows and all first edition though. If it's possibly the first edition in this opening, it's it's first edition from old school 2004 cards. So, all right. So we got two boxes after these last four or five packs here. Can we pull another collector rare? I've always kind of noticed on both of them so far we had damage. So hopefully like the whole sheet I uh, didn't get like being somehow in the cutting or packaging process. I'm just glad the Wing Dragon of Raw was not damaged. We'll, uh, we'll look at it one more time before, after this box probably. Nothing there. Alright, three packs left to go in this box, and then we have two more boxes to go. Nothing here. Quarter of the cards. Oh boy, we have one. And it is a good one, I think. Number 39, Utopia. So that is a good one. Let's look at it. And shockingly, no damage. Wow. So that is a beautiful one. So we hit our third collector rare. So we will get that in a sleeve. So let's look at number 39. I think that's one of the top three or four for sure, but I could be off. Yeah, $79, so what a beauty. So we have one pack left. 
and then we will show off that Wing Dragon Raw and then open these last two boxes. And an Imperial Bower. So nice. We we uh come back here on the last in the second half here. Alright, let's do so there's all my, my fun information. You guys can follow me on eBay, Instagram, and YouTube here. Obviously, if you're here, you're probably following me on YouTube. Um, if you're a Playmat, I'm kind of an affiliate with them. So if you uh, go to their website, and you, I think the affiliate link is in the description of this video. You can get 10% off custom Playmats or sleeves if you use my link or my code. So no pressure to use that but if you're in the market for it um, check it out so we'll switch back here and give you a full full screen view here of that beautiful secret rare wing dragon bra all right so we'll get into box number 11. trolling toad has it for 95 for the number 39 utopia I could phone toads normally pretty reasonable, but they're on new release stuff. They're kind of, um, I mean, everyone's kind of all over the place. They're trying to figure out where everything's going to stabilize at. Yeah, pretty good case. Yeah, see, I mean, well, Secret Rare God card made it a good case before we even pulled a collector rare. Um, but yeah, so let's look up Jack's Knight and. See if it's on the first page here. So yeah, seventy dollars for Jackson. I think mine was probably damaged though. And then Imperial. Yeah, fifty dollars for Imperial Bower. So not definitely not the worst one. Uh, it'd be really nice to pull um, a reinforcement of the army, but I, we might only pull three. But we will. We're gonna rip open and we're gonna find out. Love to pull another lightning storm. Would love to pull lightning storm in a collector rare, but I mean, I can't be mad about those three. I mean, Queen's Knight would be nice, or Jack's Knight would be cool too. But yeah, overall, cannot the the slow start has definitely faded away with this case. Can I try and Joker? So I think we might have pulled four of her now. So I got two more ultras out of this. Five more ultras to go, probably in the both two boxes. Uh, like I said, if we managed to pull a collector rare in this box, I'd probably keep that last box sealed just for my personal collection. Um, as a very unlikelihood that there'd be a collector rare or a secret ghost rare setting in inside. Just have it sealed for my collection. Magnet induction. Every time I like, kind of like loosen up and like start skipping to the end is when I end up hitting one again. I kind of kind of spoil it, but. It is what it is. So yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this stream. If you guys haven't seen any uh, uh, King's Court open before now. You guys are seeing every every card in the set pretty much. I would think I pulled all ten ultras so far, um, but there could be one eluding me. And definitely pulled every super many, many times over and every rare also. So Yeah, that would that would be what I would be most interested to see if I magically pulled another god, if it would be the secret version or if it would be an ultra version as well.
I don't think we'll get that lucky, but uh, it would definitely be a, a cool experiment to see. You're calling a slifer. That would be absolutely wild to pull two in a case. I'm not going to be opposed to it, though, for sure. Definitely was not ready to see when dragging a rock. All right, let's do the left side. We got one box and a half, 36 packs, packs to pull another collector rare. Or another god card. Magnet Induction, a very common super rare, I think. Oh boy. Well, we hit our last collector rare. Rivalry of Warlords. So I'm going to guess this is probably one you don't want, but we will look it up. Uh, probably not like, you know, horrible in price, but... Seems like trap cards never do too well. Ooh, so that $58, so yeah, not too bad. So yeah, overall. So now what do we do here? Do we, I definitely open the rest of this box. Um, Or maybe I'll maybe I'll keep um, let's see how many artworks are there here there's a queen there is the cover art and then there is the bower so we have we have five packs left so I'll keep a um, I'll keep a pack play set sealed for myself and then we'll open um, we'll open these last we'll keep um, Two sealed for you guys. Um, we'll say, let me know your favorite uh, favorite pull out of the set after the stream ends. Let me know your favorite pull out of the set, and just um, for you guys. I mean, there's 36 of you here, so we'll say first 40 comments. So if all you guys that are watching, uh, you guys will be the ones that really have a chance to get entered at the end of the stream. Let me know your favorite card, and um, I'll pull one out of the first 40 comments, and you guys will get sent these two packs. Uh, could have a Definitely could still have an ultra rare in it, I believe. So that's what we'll do. Enter for you guys for sticking around here. So yeah, and then I'll keep that last box sealed probably just for my own personal collection. So two packs left. And then after this is over, let me know your favorite pull from the case. Last pack. Can we get a last pack ultra? We cannot. So that is going to do it. Um, two pack giveaway for you guys. Keeping this box sealed for my personal collection. And then we pulled four really nice collector rares. And then a highlight for me and probably for all of you guys was this Wing Dragon of Raw Secret Rare Hieroglyphic Millennium Ultra Rare. I think if you look at Yu Gi Oh!'s official page, it's U L R A, Ultra Rare. So Got that, Rivalry of Warlords, number 39, Utopia, Imperial Bower, and Jack's Knight. So, that is going to do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Probably going to do another case of this, um, maybe early next week. And uh, so be on the lookout for that. Definitely have old school stuff. Have P PSA and BGS submissions and returns and stuff out the wazoo I think over the next couple weeks 
a lot of sales going to be happening on Instagram, eBay, um, whatnot. So be on the lookout for that on other platforms. And uh, thank you guys for, for watching tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching.